everybody welcome back to my channel this is Becca with the house of Lenormand it is currently 7 10 in the evening it finally um, cooled off enough cooled off enough uh, to kind of go through some stuff with you guys um, I'm watching Johnny <laughs> he's on his live stream I decided this year that I am going to make my own birthday candles instead of buying myself one. Um, I've been playing with candle making now for a little bit. Um, it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, you know, the wax and oils are, they can get pretty expensive, but, um, you know, I'll have this. I bought 10 pounds. This is only 5 pounds here. I have the other upstairs, but, um, I have been really enjoying this cocoa apricot cream from the Wood and Whitco. Um, so I've been using this, it's all natural. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out while I'm watching Johnny over there reading. Um, I decided I'm gonna do some Halloween ones too. Um, this stuff, it doesn't say it on the label here. It doesn't say it on the label, um, but there was another channel that I was watching that was saying that it needs about two to three weeks to cure. So I'm going to go ahead and make some Halloween candles. I found these little things here at the Target dollar shop or dollar spot, like late September, I think. So I have two of them here. I'm going to make some Halloween candles so they'll be ready by Halloween. These are hemp wicks. Um, I've triple wicked them. I've glued them down already in there. You can see. Um, hopefully I have the right size because that's where I've been struggling is I keep getting or putting in the wrong wick size and it's just no bueno. Um, so we're going to be using some of that today. Um, this is what I cut, you know, a dough, dough cutter. I use it to cut the wax. Um, this one here I'm going to make to burn on Saturday on my birthday. Um, it'll give it like two days to cure. Um, and then this one, I was going to make a candle with this too, but I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. It's, um, I got this at the Wooden Whitco where I bought the wax right there. Um, but they don't make these anymore. It's really pretty. It, um, it's called the Grecian. It looks like an old Greek pottery. It's super pretty very heavy um but i just i don't know i think i'll be good with with making three and who knows it may um it may go well it may not go well with the wicks um so i got my measuring scale i'm going to weigh out my wax um i have this little cart over here where i keep all of my candle making stuff it's, this top part is not usually such a disaster um because it's all this stuff is usually in the wax thing there but I'm using it so um, oh I need to take this out so when I take out the wax off of the double boiler I got my pot over here oh there's that towel Ona got me um, so yeah I'm gonna start boiling the water to do the double boiler method um, so then here um, I have some candle dyes here that I have never used um, instructions. Oh, I think I'll use these. Put some gems on it. Um, this is a temperature thing, temperature gun. Um, what is this? Glue gun. Let me see what else is up here that I may have needed. I think that's it. Um, down here I have like some little one ounce things. Um, I got this one as a sample and it's really, 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 really good. I just don't want to make it right now. So let's see what's in here. <sighs> Dragon's blood. I smelled this and it really does smell like the incense dragon's blood. Um, but I don't think I want to make that right now. Red ginger saffron. That one smells really good too. Uh, amber and driftwood. Rose Petal Gelato. I usually don't like florals, 
but this one's really good and I think it might be because of that gelato right there. It gives it like a buttery, it's still floral, but it's kind of buttery. Oh, look, this is fun. Bitches Brew. I guess it's supposed to be a duplicate for Yankee Candles Witches Brew. I think we'll do that one. Hopefully I have enough. Um, let me see. Palo Santo. Um, this one smells really good too. Very earthy. It's called Walk in the Woods. This one I did not like. It's um, Damasina Rose and Oud. It's the rose that I don't like. And then this look. No. Okay. So we'll do this one for Halloween. And then I clean my containers out with alcohol. Here I have, oh, I think I'll use this too. This is um, food grade glitter. And I got this on Amazon. Let me see. It'll focus. No, it's not going to focus. It's like um, from this company here, Bakel, B-A-K-E-L-L, -L. and it's like sugar, but it's, um, you can put it in your drinks and it makes it all swirly and sugary, so I think I'm going to put that on top and then some gold mica powder and purple mica powder up there. Let's see, down here, I've got some frankincense and myrrh. Apples and maple bourbon, that one's really good for the fall. Um, smells very bourbony. Let's see here. Apple harvest, that one's really good for the fall. Ooh, Pacific Trail. I think I want to do this one. This one um, was named after the Pacific Crest Trail, which runs from Mexico through California, Oregon, all the way up to Washington and up into Canada. So it's very earthy, dank, <laughs> you know, very um, heavy scent. I think that's perfect. And this one too, I think I'm gonna do this one. Dark Crystal, I'll have to get you guys the notes. This is from Brambleberry, to get that one. Um, Tonka and Oud, I made a candle with this and I had the wrong wick. So um, I didn't get much fragrance out of it, but this smells phenomenal. And then, what else do we have back here? Sea salt and orchid. Yeah, not the right time of year for that one. Um, let's see. Sweet grass. This stuff smells from Sierra Candles. Smells exactly, exactly, exactly like the sweet grass that you use to smudge your house. Um, I made, um, what do you call these things? Uh, melts with those to put it in my, my wax warmers. And I kept coming downstairs. I'm like, why does my house smell like sweet grass? Because I made one of those. It smells great. Um, this one's really good too from the Woodham Wick Rose Patchouli and Amber. It's really good. Um, Dark Rose and Labdanum. This one's really good too. It's got pink peppercorn, grapefruit, and plum, black rose, and cumin, vanilla patchouli, and Labdanum. And then this one has, let's see, sparkling lemon, lavender, orange peels, shaved cinnamon, rose and white jasmine, and patchouli, amber, musk, and sandalwood. But I don't think I'm gonna do these. Uh, Marrakesh, this one's very, smells like, it would probably smell it, the markets in Marrakesh. It's really good. Um, this one here very floral I don't think it's the right time of year for that one so let's see which ones am I doing oh, I'm gonna do the two bramble berries okay I'm gonna do the bramble berries Pacific Crest Trail dark crystal this bitch is brew All right let me go weigh up my wax and get it boiling Yes. Okay, everybody. So I hope you don't mind hearing Johnny in the background because I'm over here getting ready to uh, measure out my wax. Um, so I'm going to need 11.7 ounces. So, yep. Oh, shoot. My scale went out. Okay. 
So don't come at me saying that I'm going to die of cancer from burning candles. Um, this is all coconut. Is astrology is an apricot wax. Astrology is wrong. That's what it's called. And some hemp wicks. So unless there's he's a different kind of person. Carcinogens and um, has been overridden by the person who created that astrology. There's a reason for it. Coconut and apricot. There has to be. Well, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. And also the fragrance oils are free of all of that stuff. Um, I get most of my fragrance oils, like you guys saw, from Candle Science, which is all clean. And um, I have a couple from Brambleberry, which are all clean. Um, He's got all these horrible things in his charts and all these horrible things in his stars. Where is that down here? <laughs> so, yeah. There's a... Um, all right, perfect, I'll right at 11 ounces. So yeah, this is how I'm gonna spend my evening. Got a couple of readings tomorrow, and um, I'll be doing that. So I get my little thermometer on here. I have to heat this too. What does it say on the instructions? Okay, so I figured it out. Um, I have to heat the this particular wax to 180, 190. I add the fragrance oil at 170, and as soon as I'm done adding the fragrance oil, I need to pour it. So. Um, said we were going to do, let's do this one, white, uh, the dark crystal. Um, and I need one, I need 1.3 ounces of this. nerve-wracking so I try to be like as exact as I possibly can I'm still at 1.1 I need 1.3 oh finally got to 1. Point, there we go 1.3 perfect well I'm gonna go over there <laughs> and babysit my um my wax and i'll see you guys later okie dokie i'm back so we'll see how this turns out hopefully it's not horrible um, i'm gonna wait for it to drop we're at 181 now i'm still watching johnny he's um having a little chit chat so i hope you guys don't mind because i'm listening to him But yeah, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, still trying to decide if I'm going to... You know what? I don't think I'm going to um, use coloring in this one. Um, I think I'm going to use coloring on the Halloween ones. I think I'm going to make those ones black. Um, so... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will be back to show you guys the finished product. <laughs> okay, you guys, so <laughs> just got done pouring all of these. Um, this is the one I'm going to burn on Saturday for my birthday. I trimmed the wicks, and I think I did not evenly space these, but we'll see how it burns. Um, I think I'm going to put some rose petals and some roses and a little of this shiny sprinkly stuff this is going to be my birthday candle um i messed this up when i was trimming the wicks but you know i'll hit this one with the heat gun as well because um 
<clears throat> I want to put something on this one for Halloween. I think I'm going to do the gold mica on this one. And I have them labeled here too, so I know um, all my notes are on here. And I'll transfer this to my book upstairs. And then here's the, the other one. This one's still carrying, so I, I'm waiting for it to harden so I can remove the chopsticks and um, trim the wicks. But I'm excited to make this one. I'm going to give it about another two hours or so while I'm cleaning. <laughs> and then this just came in the mail. My sister got me this for my birthday. Um, it's a tablecloth for readings. Um, so pretty. It's from, it's from Turkey. Secret Collections from Turkey. 36 by 36. Um, so it's cream colored with gold throughout and it's got the little evil eyes isn't that gorgeous I'm so excited um, I'm not gonna open this till she comes over Saturday because um, I didn't know I didn't know it was in the package or who it was from I just ripped it open I was like oh crap <laughs> so um, Yoda thank you thank you thank you so much it's it's gorgeous it's beautiful I love it. I can't wait to use it um, so yeah I'm still over there watching Johnny um I'm cleaning my house too because it's like so much cooler at night it's in the 70s there's Johnny um it's in the 70s right now and it's like I can't clean my house when it's 85 degrees outside with no air conditioning I just can't do it um I got some books here maybe reading this fall um I'm gonna reread this series discovery of rich Witches by Deborah uh, Harkness. Um, she's a professor here at uh, San Diego State University, um, and I've read the um, the entire series. It's a trilogy, um, and it's really cool. So I figured perfect time of year to reread this one. Um, the Arrival. Um, this one was based off that movie with those alien things. So we'll see. I saw the movie. We'll see how different the. Uh, the book is. Um, this one was gifted to me years ago, but I never, I hardly ever read any fiction. Um, so I haven't gotten around to this one yet. Uh, Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. So it's got three books here. Library of Souls, Hollow City, and then Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I think this was made into a movie. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I'm going to read, try to get that read. And then this is some of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, right here by Dorinda Jones. Um, this is also a series, I believe. She has 12 books out in this series, last time I checked. Um, so I'm on the 7th because it's been a few years, like three or four years since... I've read the, this series, so I think I stopped at six, so I'm picking up seven. Um, but it's super cool. It's um, She is a private detective. Um, she's also a Grim Reaper. <laughs> That's her special power. Um, and so it's super, uh, it's, it's cool, it's funny, it's got a lot of funny quotes like this stuff here I don't think I get enough credit for the fact that I do all of this medicated <laughs> unmedicated um, it's a super fun read super fast read um, so it's I'm excited to get back into the series hopefully I remember what happened in book six because I don't have those I have them on my Kindle and I cannot not my Kindle my nook and I can't find my nook I often question my sanity occasionally it replies it's the the humor the wit it's kind of raunchy too sometimes um so those that's what i'm going to be reading hopefully this fall um i'm going to get some cleaning done i was running wilbur over there earlier so yeah that's how ridiculously hot it is in here see even moose is like dying poor baby um i'm gonna go take Johnny with me <laughs> into my sister's bedroom because I got to go clean that. She's coming over, I think, tomorrow night, so I want to make sure that her room is clean. Let me, sh let me go sh show you guys the room. 
Yeah, so this is where my sister usually stays. So I need to clean that. Wilbur was already in here um, sucking up the dirt off the carpet. Um, you know, I love that map just because it's got Cuba right there. Um, but yeah, I got a lot to do in here. Um, you know, dust all this stuff off because we always have to keep the windows open because we don't have any AC and it's like, it just gets really dusty. Um, so yeah, let me go finish watching Johnny and finishing up my candles. Okay, so I just finished. I went with that um, bakery sugar powder. It's so pretty. I put some roses here. I don't know if you'll be able to see put some uh, rose quartz and amethyst they're super pretty what I did notice that powder stains yeah I did not know that but the writing on it is so tiny you can't see so yeah that's how this one looks and then this one here I put mica gold powder in there it looks kind of looks kind of janky but I'm sure when it's burning it'll probably look nice and swirly with glittery stuff um, I didn't know what else to put on there, so I'm just leaving it alone like that, just make it spooky. And then that one, um, I think I'm ready to take these things off. Um, this one smells the strongest out of all of them, but I'm going to give this one a couple of days to cure, and it'll be done. But yeah, that's my birthday candle I just made for myself. So I'm going to go finish watching Johnny over there. There's Moose. <laughs> Poor baby. Um, and I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye!